Hello? Hey, kid. A mutual friend needs our help. Logan? But how did you get... I have my ways. Look, you want to help or not? <sighs> Depends on the friend. Aurora Monroe. Oh, of course. I'm free now. Good. You know where to find us. <laughs> where the trouble is. Eliana, thank you for coming. Aurora, you can always count on me. A friendship for all seasons is a powerful thing. Thank the goddess for that. We miss you at the school. You are always welcome home. I found my home with the Midnight Suns. But that does not mean I leave friends behind. What is the problem? A year ago, the Professor detected a mutant living here with dormant abilities. I met with her. A fierce young woman named Dahlia, and invited her to attend Xavier's school. She declined. The orphanage was all she knew. I came here today to see if she had changed her mind, but... According to the orphanage, she... disappeared three months ago. Let me guess. As soon as her powers manifested... It's my fault. I didn't want to push her. To take her away from the only place she felt safe. I thought she could hide in plain sight a bit longer. I was wrong. You did what you thought was right. As you always do. Dahlia would never harm another person. And now she slipped through the cracks. Another ghost in the wind. This city is not kind to its ghosts. Especially not when it's infested with vampires. That's why we're gonna find her before they do. They already found us. Protect the children, at any cost. As if preying on the innocent wasn't enough for them, they come for the most vulnerable. I would call them cowards, but they are just mindless scavengers looking for an easy meal. I've got something they can chew on right here. Ah, Logan. Together again. Just like old times. Sacrifice yourself blindly for Lilith? You are more foolish than you look. I should have been more vigilant. Dahlia was on her own here, alone with her burgeoning abilities. There was only so much you could do. Think how many mutants have faced the same difficulties. All of them. 
It seems a requirement of our upbringing to face such undeserved trials. It falls to us to ensure that doesn't happen. Not here, not anywhere. Accept your defeat. I will deliver you from her grasp. Very effective. yourself Gets the job done. Done waiting. At least we got here in time to protect the children. Why bother protecting society's dregs? Hmm? It is beneath your stature. Beneath me, all I see is you. The new breed vampires are an evolution, just as mutants were before them. But vampires continue to grow. <laughs> mutants remain tethered to humanity. A broken branch on the evolutionary tree. These cast-offs are not your family. They are fuel. There is a food chain. And it is time we ate up. Surely you see it. Just as mutants push humanity ever closer to the ash heap, so too will this new breed. It is the natural order of this world. There is nothing natural about what you've done. Any mutant seeking to dominate humanity does not speak for us. <laughs> ah, that is your mistake, not mine. Looking at me? Look to the skies! That will not be enough! Their intentions haven't changed. It's the best I can do for now. I shall never cower. Still want to fight.
This is what you came for. You'll shake our loyalty. The AI is palpable. They really want me gone. I call to the element. Flunky's coming in. You and your friends will suffer together. Now it's my turn. <laughs> They have brought more friends. We will not allow you to spread this plague across the world. My kind have little to fear from you. We are the future. If they're not scared yet. They better get started. You aren't good enough for me. The elements bow to me. They still haven't realized their mistake. Ready? to the slaughter. As mutants, you should understand the struggle my kind has faced better than anyone. You chose to align yourself with these creatures. Our paths are nothing alike. I chose to move beyond the limitations of humanity, and I have no regrets. Huh. 
powerful sorcery. Excellent. Change of mind. I will show you true power. Nice move, Bub. We prevail for now. That was a quarter of my power. I'm glad the training stayed with you. The danger room left an impression. As you did with Sin. She won't be back. It's why she was here in the first place that concerns me. Agreed. This is bigger than us. If we're going to take on Sin... And find Dahlia. We need reinforcements. Most of the X-Men are off-planet dealing with the Shi'ar Brood War. Don't worry. The Midnight Suns will help. Storm, is it? Indeed. You must be the hunter. Magic told me about you. Why does that make me nervous? <laughs> Nothing but good things, I promise. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. I must say, this place is unlike anything I've seen before. There is an air of mystery and wonder, but it feels welcoming and safe all at the same time. How curious. The Abbey is special. It even holds secrets that I have not uncovered. I grew up in the Abbey, but I'm still discovering new things about my home. It's all part of getting older. Perspective gives us a new way of looking at our surroundings. Can perspective open doors which require passwords? No, sadly not. Apologies. I have been dominating the conversation. Have you any questions for me? Yes, I have a few. By all means, ask away. Can you tell me about your background? I won't go into too much detail, but I was left orphaned as a child. I learned how to fend for myself and became a skilled pickpocket. You stole from others? To survive. And it worked. I scraped by. After a few years, my mutant abilities presented themselves, and I was approached by Xavier to join the X-Men. The rest is history. I feel like you were leaving some parts out. <laughs> Perhaps. My past is just that. It is behind me, and I prefer to focus on what is ahead. I saw bright lights coming from your hands. What was that? It's a little complicated, but I have the power to control the weather and atmosphere. What you saw back there was electricity. Wow, that is amazing. Now I understand the meaning behind your name. Thunder and lightning don't roll off the tongue as easily. You said your powers are complicated. May I ask how? Maybe I'll go into full detail another time. But let's just say I can't mess with Mother Nature too much. I see. Like checks and balances? Exactly. What is your given name? Aurora Monroe. What about yours? 
the hunter. Short and sweet. I like it. Does your name hold any significance like mine does? I was told it meant beauty. A little embarrassing, but I understand the intent. I changed my mind. The offer still stands. No one here passed the vibe check, because it feels real different. Hmm. Do you feel that? The air stirs a bit differently. Hello, Hunter. I hope you are well. I was hoping to ask you some questions. By all means, ask away. I changed my mind. The offer still stands. Hey, Charlie Warley puppy face. Storms as good as they come. What if we just held hands, huh? It'll be nice having another mutant around. Especially someone on good terms with magic. You need to go easier on Sarah, kid. What brought that up? I've seen how you are together. You're always circling each other, waiting for the other one to pounce. She started it. She can choose to end it. It's good that you don't back down, most of the time. But you're too busy fighting to see what it's doing to her. I don't think you understand how much your death affected her. And neither of you get how much your resurrection brought it all back. When you run into someone you thought was gone for years, learning otherwise can produce some intense feelings. Where is this coming from, Logan? This is not entirely about Sarah. I've lived way too long. For nearly a century, Victor Creed, Sabretooth, has been a bitter enemy. But I've lost count of the times we fought side by side. I'm not asking you to forget your history. But it doesn't always need to be a fight to the death. That's something I can use. Glad to have Storm on the team. Hopefully we can find her missing student-to-be. Anything else on your mind? Thanks, Carol. Catch you later. Won't hold back. 
training pays off. Do your thing. Uh, you got any chocolate? We feel a craving coming on. Quite a view out here, Logan. You know, I didn't always go by Logan. Or Wolverine, for that matter. Once upon a time, they used to call me Weapon X. Not exactly warm and cuddly, eh? Tough. Deadly. It suits you. Maybe so. But sometimes, I wonder how things would have turned out for me if I had been given a different name. You know, something softer, like... Bob, or Moonchild. You ever think how your whole destiny got laid out the minute they named you Hunter? My name does not define what I am. Yes, I hunt evil for now, but it will not be forever. Well, for your sake, I hope they let you retire. I think you got lucky with somebody like Caretaker watching out for you. I suppose her name is fitting, then. I'd have killed to have someone like Caretaker in my life. One way or another, I've lost everybody I ever cared about. That must have been hard on you. For a while, yeah. But lately, I've been feeling like I'm getting my edge back. Like when I was younger. Oh? What changed? Uh, could be a lot of things. Maybe I've been eating better. Maybe it's some kind of weirdo Abbey magic at work. Or maybe it's the fact that I somehow managed to make a new friend. If my presence is causing you to reclaim your edge, then I am honored. It is not what I intended, but it is a welcome side effect. Hopefully it's the only side effect. Otherwise, I gotta contact my doctor. I ain't had a real teammate I could count on since I took a break from the X-Men. How is it? It's kinda nice. Don't tell me. Red Skull's plans for Wendigore Monorail. Close. Red Skull dug them back in World War II, but where they go, well, we're not sure. Yet. There are some hints in Crossbones' data that a few of the tunnels might even be older. How much do we trust Crossbones' data? I trust it enough to investigate and launch reconnaissance. Up for a little smash and grab, Logan? Ah, I see where this is going. It's a cannonball special. Except that you're throwing me at a whole mountain. We know you're strong enough to take it. Want in on the action, Steve? Negative. I need to poke around Crossbones' hard drive. There's still encryption I can't crack. Maybe it's spicy love letters from Crossbones to Sin? She's Red Skull's daughter or granddaughter or something. Anyone sharing a family tree with Red Skull is bad news. Dating Crossbones is proof of that pudding. That's right. I wonder what kind of murder sonnets those two deranged lovebirds wrote to each other. But while it would make some titillating nightmare fuel, we have bigger fish to fry. And it's a big old doozy of a fish. Something called Project Gottmorder. Based on my limited German, that sounds promising. Agreed. Only it could be nothing. Red Skull doled out fancy names left and right. I think the answer's here, in Crossbones' data. What we do know is that these tunnels go somewhere. And Hydra's hiding something. Something potentially big. Well, that's more context than I normally get for potential suicide missions. Into the Hydra nest we go. Hope you're not afraid to get dirty, Hunter. 
If we're really going into those tunnels uh, underneath Mount Are you Mount saying Wonder the Red War, Skull did not value comfort? Get ready for some good old... The guy was a Nazi whose head was the color of an inflamed big toe. I doubt he was trucking in lacy throw pillows down there. I will adjust my expectations. The map we have is pretty loose, but luckily, you're gonna have me leading the way. So don't worry about getting stuck or lost. We have a partial map. I think I can handle myself. I am known as the Hunter, after all. Sure, a partial map will get you partially there. But when you're stuck in a Nazi trap and you're surrounded by whatever's been lurking down there since Red Skull turned off the lights, it may be a good idea to have old Wolverine along. Not that you'll need me, of course. With any luck, we will learn the Skull's secrets quickly. Yeah. It'll be good to see what the old bonehead was up to. You talk as though you knew him. It's not like we traded punches or anything, but I was in Canadian intelligence during the war. The skull was definitely on our radar. As nasty as you'd expect. Obsessed with the occult. And this Project Gottmorder? That's new to me. Hopefully it lives up to its name. I'd hate to go all the way down there and find out it's just a regular old mortar. Something tells me whatever we find down there will be worth the effort. Oh yeah? What's telling you that? Voices in your head? Pure instinct. Whatever it is, I hope we can get it out of there. I don't want to spend more time in those tunnels than I have to. On that, we can agree. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. I tell you, there's nothing better than a bunch of spooky tunnels. Hunter, got any concerns? Your red, white, and blue are quite bold. I'm not sure what to say. You're headed into unsecured tunnels beneath Mount Wondagore with Wolverine as your guide. I'd understand if you've got some worries. Wolverine knows what he is doing, but how can we trust the information we are acting on? Yeah, I'm wrestling with that one myself. The maps look legitimate, but why Crossbones gave them to us is still a mystery. Maybe you and Logan can solve it. What was Logan saying about someone named Sin? Ah, uh, yes. She's a member of Red Skull's family. I've tangled with her a few times. She's a chip off the old block. Minus the giant Red Skull, of course. Do you think she knows about this Project Gutmorder? I have no doubts. I caught her trying to raid a museum for some of Red Skull's artifacts. If Crossbones was going to give his intel to anyone besides Lilith, it would have been her. But he did not. He gave it to you. Right. And that leaves us little choice. If we don't find this Project Gutmorder, it's only a matter of time before Sin does. Good luck out there. Maybe Crossbones underwent a change of heart. I'm sorry, was it the Hunter or the Bumper? Because one of those... If I were a Hydra mastermind, I'd keep secret labs stocked with even more secret research. There is my ferocious Charlie girl.
Hydra has been running some kind of field tests in the area, and that device is the key. They would rather destroy it than let us get our hands on it, so it must be important. Don't waste any time. Take them out before they can do any serious damage. Those soldiers are targeting the device. Do whatever it takes to stop them. Fate was already sealed. Don't get up, even if you can. to the skies. Interesting. Looks like we've acquired some new hardware courtesy of Hydra. Good work. <laughs> 